In this episode, let's learn about the fascinating world of genomic sequencing. We're here at Santa Clara County Public Health Laboratory, and this is Brandon in the Lab. Genomic sequencing is taking the sample, isolating that pathogen, and determining the nucleic acid sequence of that specific pathogen. The way we use that information is we're able to determine any type of antibiotic resistance or maybe antiviral resistance or anything that may help treatment of the patient. But what it also does is it allows us to link specific samples together or pathogens together. Take for instance, SARS-CoV-2. We've been sequencing SARS-CoV-2 since the beginning of the pandemic. We've sequenced more than 17,000 samples. All of those samples have been uploaded to a international database called GISAID. And what it does is it allows basically any scientist or the world to look at this and track the evolutionary progress of SARS-CoV-2 from the beginning of the pandemic until now. So it really provides a lot of intelligence on a specific pathogen, may aid in treatment, but it also may aid in outbreak investigations. All of our genomic sequencing takes place on this one instrument. Follow me. This is our aluminomyceae. We put the samples in there and that's where all the magic happens. One of the new and exciting disciplines that we're moving into is wastewater testing. Follow me. Here's Dante to help us out. Basically, we can identify different pathogens that are circulating within the community by testing wastewater. For instance, SARS-CoV-2, influenza, mpox. Basically, any pathogen of interest, there's a possibility of identifying if it's floating around in the wastewater. And if so, how can we understand what that means for us? 